you think? Morning everybody, it's Monday, May 15th, 2017, and we're headed into work and school for the day. Before we get this week started, let's check the crypto report, shall we? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So the crypto report, what do you guys think? Back down to seven miners, I have to return a card. So one of my graphics cards, it was miner eight. Um, I don't know, the computer just started randomly hanging and like going offline. So I looked into it and it looks like the graphics card, um, it looks like the graphics card was like the fans on the card. Looks like the fans on the card were um, <clears throat> not working after a while. And we got, I don't know what the hell they're doing here. The card fan stopped working and I don't know if it was overheating or what, but it was killing the computer and everything. So, um, what a clusterfuck. What But, uh, uh, yeah, so I think I'm holding now 29.5 um, <clears throat> Ether. Ether's going back up today. So Ether was down for the past like four or five days or so. Um, what I noticed was, I don't know, like everything seemed to be down except Bitcoin and Ripple. Now, Ripple, if you guys remember, I bought 100 bucks worth. It's now worth like 255 bucks. I'm just amazed at that. Um, and this is in a week or two, less than two weeks. In the last two weeks, I've more than doubled my money. And what I kind of heard or found out was that Ripple is um, almost like the bank's cryptocurrency. Something like that. So they're almost saying like, well, it's going to be like Ripple versus everything else now. So I was like, huh. When I bought it, I bought it in just under nine cents per unit. And now it's worth almost 25 cents per unit. So pretty amazing. Um, at the time, I just kind of saw that it was on the uprise. It went from like five to eight cents or something. And I was like, well, you know what? So I Googled it and I was like, okay, well, it looks like it's going to be something. Like when, when I Googled it, right before I dropped my 100 bucks on it, I saw in the news articles something about Ripple's that had a, like 12 banks adopt their coin or technology or something. And I was like, well, you know what? Let's go for it. So I, uh, wow, my torque converter locked that time. Jesus Christ. Rise, break my neck. Uh, <clears throat> wow. So what's cool about this ripple is it's just going up. So I don't know if I should just keep holding. I bought, uh, I don't know, like a thousand shares of ripple or some shit, um, or a little over a thousand. It's in my crypto report. And uh, you know, so I was like, well, if it goes up to a dollar, like, geez, you know, that'll be over a grand. So I was thinking maybe just holding, I don't know. Um, at this point, I don't know, should I buy more? So I got like a thousand units before. Um, I got like 10 per dollar spent. Now that it's 25 cents, if I spend another 100 bucks, I'm only gonna get 250 shares. So that kind of sucks. But uh, I don't know. It's just kind of kind of one of those things. I should have I should have dropped more money initially, I suppose. Back then was when I bought um, two units of ether and a hundred bucks in 
Ripple and 10 bucks in, what's the other one? X, XRP or something like that. I can't, I can't remember. It's in my crypto report. But, uh, yeah, so I, Sia coin now is, is kind of on the up and up. I don't know if I should start holding on to my Sia coin or what. It's like, damn. So I guess I should probably look back into, again, what Sia coin is used for. I thought it was for, like, um, contract-based storage or something like that. Like, data storage. But everyone's been mining the piss out of it for the last, you know, six months that... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth holding or if I should just like buy some more. Like just just buy some outright instead of trying to accumulate it bit by bit. Um, like that might be one that's worth dropping a hundred bucks on. You know, if it doubles the price or something, that's that's a big deal. So I don't know. A lot going on. But like I was mentioning, I found it very interesting that everything was down. Literally everything. Ether Dash. Um, everything and Ripple was still up and like way up like it just keeps climbing so I was like okay so I don't know if I should you know maybe when it hits the 25 cent mark buy another 100 bucks worth or what I, I don't know like I'm not quite sure what to do here so I dropped uh, yesterday I dropped 20 bucks in that Delta Wars game. So I mentioned it uh, not too long ago, but I'm still a member of the same team. And uh, I haven't started any new maps or anything like that. So if you guys remember, this is a browser game and the way they have it set up is there's like different levels and each level has its own set of resources. So like if you wanna like keep playing or keep growing your empire, you have to basically keep spending money. So what I figured was we kicked out an, an old beast of a player. I think he was in a, the top 100. This guy had like 500 bases. And he has a lot of bases on all the old maps. And I was like, well, you know, maybe every paycheck I'll spend 20 bucks. I'll mine resources on the old maps. And then I'll build my armies back up. And then I'll coordinate with a couple other old school buddies that, have, that were playing way back, you know, a year ago when I was. And... Will, um, you know, wipe that guy's bases out on, on our maps. So that's kind of my plan. It might take me a month or so to get built up or whatever. Um, no rush, but I just need to be smart about it and like park my units where um, they're protected and stuff like that so they don't get wiped out while I'm, you know, waiting this month or whatever it's going to be. So that was kind of my thoughts. And we'll just basically see how it goes from there and whatever. Now, um, it's pretty cool to see all my old uh, buddies that are still playing and on the game and stuff. But man, that guy that we kicked out, that whose bases I want to take out, this dude is actively mining with 15-hour timers on every freaking map and every one of his bases. So this guy is still dumping cash. So so here's what I did. I'm on like four maps, right? Four levels. I spent 20 bucks and I've already used like 12 or 15 of it just to kick off minor timers on four maps only. This guy is on fucking every map practically. So he's got to be spending hundreds of dollars a week just to maintain what he's got or whatever it's, it's insane so we're gonna set the trap for him what's gonna happen is this guy's huge like huge huge so what's gonna happen is once we start wiping off his back bases he's gonna start sending you know airplanes and all kinds of shit from other levels and we're gonna um we're gonna you know be waiting for that so we'll intercept them or whatever and take them out so it'll be fun but uh it's gonna take me time to get built back up, especially spending only 20 bucks every two weeks or whatever it is. But, uh, what else? I got a lot of images to go through. Damn.
I shot 1,960 images at the wedding on Saturday, and I messaged that to Luke, and he shot 1,962 images on Saturday. It's so weird. But uh, a lot of them are brackets. A lot of them are um, burst shots and stuff like that, trying to just, you know, get what I can get and whatever. So it uh, it is what it is, but um, I got to start going through all that junk. Uh, well, this guy's on a three-wheeled motorcycle dressed like the Stig, wearing white coat, white helmet. Uh, yesterday was nice. For Mother's Day, we just hung out all day. So I dropped Grant off to his mom at uh, 9 a.m., got him back at 8 p.m., and just ended up going right back home, spending all day with my mom and all my family. So we went out to brunch yesterday at 10 a.m. And then uh, came back to the house and basically just hung out. So Vicky joined us all day. Uh, my brother-in-law and sister showed her how to take, or showed us how to take the top down on her Jeep. So we drove back from the brunch restaurant back home with the top down. It was pretty cool. It's hot, 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 hot. And then we um, just hung out. I, I pulled out, my, my parents have a lot of lawn games, so I pulled out bocce ball, washers, and bean bags, bags, or cornhole. And yeah, we basically just played that all evening. We ate. And then uh, everyone that was over, we all walked over to Dairy Queen. We got some ice cream. So there was my brother's family of five, Vicky and I, and my mom and I, or my mom and dad. So that was uh, nine of us. We all walked over there. That was kind of funny. The, the look everyone was giving us as we were walking down the street with nine people. It's pretty cool. And uh, they have this Guardians of the Galaxy 2 um, Blizzard. And it's pretty epic at, at Dairy Queen. It, was, it, it consisted of a Brookie, Chocolate Chunks, and what else? There's something else in there. But a Brookie is a brownie cookie. And they're really good. And it's kind of... Those have become popular in this area in the last couple of years or so. Uh, let's see. It's going to be another busy week. Um, I've pretty much gotten caught up on my, my renderings for my daily vlogs. Uh, I was like two weeks behind. So that, that feels good. I, I got all the renders done. I got to still upload a week or more to the YouTube channel. Look at this cutlass. Oh. Uh, Vicky told her about the channel yesterday. It got like 99 videos out there, so it's got to be a few months I've been live by now. So I'm sure she's gonna check it out and all that. She uh, she's always on top of all my social media stuff. Love you, babe. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just sitting in traffic. Um, we got the car shows that are probably gonna start be starting up here in a local town. Um, I can't remember if those are every Tuesday or what, but they usually start at like right as I'm driving home from work and usually so tired and all that that I never want to head back, go back and check them out. But uh, one day this week I'm going over by Luke's to edit and go through photos and then what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I don't know, that's about it. So I'm going to cut this off. I still got to give you guys a tour of the data center and show all the work that we got done last week. It's pretty awesome. But uh, stay tuned for more. All right, guys. It's been quite the day. It's been insanely busy today. And uh, it's already time to leave. They went by super fast. But I promised to do a data center tour. And I had to wait because there was a lot of people in here all day long. So today we had a guy come to install some EMC equipment. We had the contractors here that were uh, putting in cabling and infrastructure back home type stuff for um, this project. We had a team here testing the fire alarm system or smoke alarm system in the uh, data center. And we also had the electrician in here in addition to uh, our network engineer and one of our data backup guys. So it was like a full house today. Okay, here you go. This was the rack that uh, went in uh, a couple weeks ago. Now, I went to go plug this in yes, uh, last week with my coworker that was helping me, 
and there, these are the power cables that connect up to the power outlets and they connect on the back side of these rails there's um, rack PDUs that go down this whole thing problem is there's not enough C19 connectors so they're like special type of connectors so kind of feel bad about that that's probably uh, about a $2,500 blunder but the vendor said they'll take back our PDUs uh, we're gonna order new ones they'll apply a credit towards the new ones or something and then um, I'll swap them out and it should be the same thing put power under the floor to be able to plug them in and all that um, so last week what did we do last week took delivery of a ton of gear so there's two pallets of stuff today they just installed this entire pallet that entire pallet's not going in until June so it's gonna be a while um, but when my uh, co-worker was here we installed this rack so we rolled it in and set it in place and then we had it uh, plugged in under the floor and we also ran all of these network connections they go from here under the floor all the way up to those switches over there so i still actually need to plug those in today uh this whole rack got populated it was basically pretty much completely empty uh what else so the contractors were in today they started putting these desktop rail kits they're mounting them on top of the, the racks we got uh some up here Last week, we also took delivery of two new Cisco racks. You can see Cisco. So these are not populated or anything yet. The power was installed under the floor here. Power was installed under the floor over there. I just need to get whole uh, floor tiles that have holes in them. Uh, and then I can run the power whips. You can see that black line. That's the extension cable for the power. It goes under the floor and plugs in underneath the tile. Uh, we also did a bunch of this. So these are all of the pallets of decommissioned hardware. So there's about 39 servers here and this is only maybe about half, a little less than half of what we had pulled out in a week. Boom! This was the row that it all came out of. So uh, all these racks here are all populated or were mostly populated with servers and all of this decommissioned or old gear that's no longer in use was in those racks. So we pulled it all out. And that's the easy part, removing all these machines. The hard part is taking out, or not the hard part, but the time consuming part, taking out all of the cables that were connected to them. So you can see, like, look at this, boom. Oh, I said there was even more servers. Look at all this. So this is what it looks like when the cables are not properly, or, uh, you know, like, dressed up nicely. So this is what it looks like when it's connected. This is what it looks like when it's disconnected. So we pretty much cleared out all of these racks and I still got four, five, six, seven, I don't know, racks to go. Cable arms from the backs of servers. Sounds like something's beeping over here. But you can still see some loose fibers and stuff like that. Basically what we're doing is going through and everything that's not lit can essentially come out. That means it's not connected. So anything that's still lit would have to stay in or it's hot something's beeping over here i gotta figure that out I'm not sure what more cables here's a stack of gen 5 servers i like to use these for various things they have the newer style hard drives they have um they're 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 a little bit newer so i can run like windows 10 on them or i should say windows 7. here is a pallet that we received of switches these are basically four pairs of switches, so there's eight total. These are what, we, what we're putting up above the racks in a two-pair combo, two uh, for redundancy. This is what these guys brought in today. Look at all this. It's just absolutely incredible the amount of stuff that we got. We got this guy here. So last week, my coworker helped me move this bad boy. I've been talking about it, talking about it. And it was originally facing the direction that uh, we're looking and we turned it sideways to line it up properly line it up gear 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 more gear so that's it it's been uh last week was insane my back was killing me but we got a massive amount of stuff done uh this week i gotta get these installed i got some some stuff around the corner i gotta get installed over there uh just clean up clean up clean up all kinds of stuff.
So we got a new rack coming that's going to be sitting in this location, probably coming tomorrow. It'll uh, go under the floor, plug in. Just delivered this today. It's a blade. And that's it. I got to run. I got to get on the road. It's uh, like quarter to five, so stay tuned for more.